I saved a Discord bot from scamming everyone by hacking into it myself, but when I told the owner, he said, I'll be sussing them. Whoa. I can't spoil the surprise, but first, how did I even hack into this Discord bot in the first place? Well, I didn't. I'm too stupid. In fact, XYZ Evo managed to find a vulnerability with CaptchaBot. Now, CaptchaBot is a Discord bot that is meant to secure your gaming NFT Web3 crypto Discord server from raids and bad people. And it turns out that this is going to be a lie, because my objective in this hacking heist is to get admin on the Goob Discord server, and then I'm gonna nuke the whole entire server. It's revenge for the owner taking my e-girl. And to get that admin role and seek revenge, I am going to hack the secure CAPTCHA bot to do it. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm first gonna go to the CAPTCHA.bot page. Now if I press F12, I open up my dev tools, and if I go to debugger, we can see kind of the code behind their website. Now if I go to their JavaScript and I go to app.javascript, there's all this code, it looks like hot garbage. But if I press on this button, it looks beautiful. Remember, what I'm doing here not difficult. Now, looking through this JavaScript code, there's nothing that pops out until I keep on scrolling and I see there's a whole bunch of login connect. What the? It actually turns out that these are paths of the CAPTCHA.bot website. So there's CAPTCHA.bot slash gilded. And if I uh, go to it, oh, oh God, I'm leaking something. And if I go back, there's also a Telegram one. And oh, I'm just leaking even more things. Forgive me. But if I keep on scrolling down, I get to debug. And this is where an idea popped up. What if I could get into the debug? mode of CAPTCHABOT, which would allow me to change CAPTCHABOT settings on any Discord server and make it where if I verify, I get admin. The dream is there. Now let's get cracking. So if I go to CAPTCHA.bot slash debug, it's not found. Well, the dream's already over until I press F12 again. But if I press F12 and I go to webpack, vu frontend, views, dashboard, there's a debug.vu file. If I click on debug, I'm going to search for debug again. Oh, it's not found. If I click on the next debug file, you'll notice, oh, there's one result. And if I scroll down, it turns out there is a way to get debug mode. But how? It actually turns out if I go on this debug, debug webpage, it will show me this error of not found under one condition if I'm not the owner. In fact, what this line does is it checks if my user ID is this user ID here. But instead of trying to uh, hack into Dark's Discord account to get this debug mode, if I just scroll down a little bit, it turns out the way to activate debug mode is to send a post request to CAPTCHA.bot's debug endpoint with a guild ID. What if I just replay this message and I tell CAPTCHABOT that I'm the owner and I want to debug a specific Discord server to change all their settings and cause havoc. That'd be stupid if I could do that. Well, I think it's time to do that. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into CAPTCHABOT, and I'm showing you me logging in with my normal no text to speech Discord account just so you can't think I'm tricking you or anything. Now, what I'm going to do next is figure out what CAPTCHA.bot's full API URL is. Because remember, I want to send this message, but I need to figure out the URL before this debug thing. So I go to the dashboard, press F12, go to network, and I just refresh the page. And all I need to is look for a request to CAPTCHA.bot, and I get the full API URL. Now, if I copy this, and I paste it into my console, and I go back to this code where I need to send a message to slash debug, if I send a message to this link, I technically should be able to get debug mode for any Discord server. So a little bit of woo, cooking show magic, I've turned that URL into a post request that I can enter in my console. But if I replace this guild ID with the Goob Discord server guild ID, if I press enter, this shouldn't work. You would assume there's something to stop me. There, there is something stopping me, because I don't have authorization. But what if I just copy my authorization header for my Discord account that has no special permissions, and what if I just paste it in the code? Now, of course, another little bit of cooking show magic, it actually is supposed to look like this. If I press enter, there's a promise happening. And if I refresh the page, nothing happens. But if I move this down, we have one extra Discord server. Debug with the ID of the Goob Discord server. That means that anyone on on this planet could access any CAPTCHABOT Discord server and configure their settings. It actually turns out that this debug mode is a lot like a Tom Cruise movie. There are lasers everywhere. If I click on this configure button, it's going to hit a tripwire and say, intruder alert, you are actually not the owner of CAPTCHABOT. But nah, bro, all I have to do is just tell CAPTCHABOT that I am the owner, and I click on configure. Oh, I'm on the overview of the settings of the Goob server. Oh, I'm the owner. I paste in the code again and press enter. <laughs> I'm the owner. I click on verification. Oh, I hit a 
Tripwire again. Nope, I just run the code and press enter. I'm the owner. And I scroll down and, oh, the verified role is verified? Let's change that. Maybe that's a Tripwire. I'm Tom Cruise. I paste in the code. I add a role. Whoa, sexy Tom Cruise. Don't press that button yet because we got to go over our Discord mission briefing on how roles and permissions work. Oh god, this doesn't work. First, CaptureBot has the manage roles permission, which allows CaptureBot to give any role that is underneath it. So CaptureBot cannot give mod or admin, and this is reflected by if we look at the dashboard, it can't give admin or mod. So I guess that means I'm not hacking into the server. Well, nah, uh, uh that's not how Discord servers are set up. A lot of Discord servers are set up like utter garbage, and for example, this danger role actually has administrator. It can do anything on the Discord server. And since it's underneath CaptureBot, CaptureBot can give people the danger role. And as you'll see later on, I'm going to show you all the damage that this could cause. But in this case, I'm going to click on the danger role, and I wanted to add the danger role, paste in the code again, I press save changes, and I join the Goob Discord server. I need to verify. I verify, I click here, I visit the website, I'm logged in as no text-to-speech, I click on verify. Oh baby, let's see what happens. Verifying, I go to the Discord server, and oh baby. If I scroll down and I click on my username, I have the danger role, which has administrator. In fact, if you don't even believe me, I can go to my server settings, go to the audit log, and you can see that CaptureBot has updated the roles, giving me the danger role. This is lethal. Extremely lethal. For example, in the CaptureBot's own support server, we can see that the bot has this dot role. And if I go to the permissions of the Discord server, this dot role has administrator, which means I can make CaptureBot give any of these roles. And with this owner role, I could uh, raid the server by just spam pinging everyone, or I could just delete every single one of their channels. So that CaptureBot is no longer a Discord server. It's been all deleted. And I mean, why stop at CaptureBot's Discord server? If I go to the CaptureBot website, it is used in over 419,000 Discord servers. There are 419,000 potential Discord servers that I can destroy, all thanks to CaptureBot's wonderfully horrendous security. But that would be getting my funny up, but not my money up. And right now I need to pay for a lot of child support because I don't understand protection. And it turns out there's something that I can do to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's called targeting the cream of the crop of degeneracy. Discord NFT servers. Now this is the Smart Layer Discord server. And this Smart Layer Discord server also has, oh my gosh, that's CaptureBot. And it has this bots role. And if I go to the permissions of the Smart Layer Discord server, this bots role can manage roles, which means I can give myself Smart Layer Associate, which allows me to do a whole bunch of stuff. With that role, I can make an announcement telling people to mint their new NFT. And of course, that would be a scam link, and if someone actually minted their NFT, they would lose all of their NFTs, all their crypto, and it would go to me. And I'd finally be able to pay child support. But, pfft. That's rookie stuff. I mean, they have a real CaptureBot verification system, and literally nothing is stopping me from making my own version of CaptureBot, that's a scam bot, and adding it to this NFT server, and literally drowning in money. All thanks to the super secure CaptureBot, and their Twitter says that they are the largest and most secure Discord verification bot. Only one of those is true. But I'm not an evil person. I go to Dark's DMs and I lay out every single part of the vulnerability. How this works, how I get access to his server, and how I could change all of of his settings. And I made it extremely clear to him that this is a bad issue. This Discord bot could be the root cause of 400,000 Discord servers being raided or being scammed for hundreds of thousands of dollars. But it was five o'clock. I clocked out of my nine to five. I went to bed and I wake up. Another day, another nightmare. And it turns out I got a DM from XYZ Eva telling me that the issue has been fixed. Whew, that's a relief. So then I go on my Goblin account and I want to see what Dark says. And you would not believe what I got. I got no response. This is worse than being ghosted by the chick I asked for her phone number. That's the only girl I've ever talked to. Like I told you, I could scam this NFT Discord server. But if I don't want to do the scamming, I could just tell scammers that I have a way to hack into CaptureBot, and they would pay me $100,000 for that. And fortunately for CaptureBot and any of those potential victims, XYZ Eva and I were being ethical. We're trying to do a good thing. Anyways, bye bye, I love you sweetheart, and always do the good thing. If you do something good, I will be the supportive father figure that you might not have had in your life. I'm projecting here. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.